Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll show you how to make the perfect jollof rice stew. Is any party complete without jollof rice? Mm -mm, I don't think so. And you want to get that smoky party flavor from the jollof rice. And in order to achieve that, you have to get the stew right. Don't say I told you. Everything that happens actually happens in the stew. So you have to get it right. So if you're interested and you want to see how I made this, watch till the end. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! To fry the best stew for your Nigerian jollof rice, you need some red bell peppers, you need adobo seasoning, you can use any other one. You will also need some bay leaves, dried thyme, white pepper. I'll show you what it looks like later, it's in a dried form. You will also need some smoked paprika, some grated um, nutmeg, two small tomato purees, one big tomato paste. You need the stem of two ginger, you need garlic, you need onions. You will also need some curry powder, some scotch bonnet pepper and some seasoning cubes. You will also need some oil for frying and some salt. So start with washing the bell peppers, the onions, everything. Just wash and blend. I already washed these bell peppers before. They just came out of the freezer. So I was basically just rinsing off the ice from it. It was already cleaned. So cut everything up and then throw them into the blender and blend. Add one of the tomato purees into the blender and blend it together with the bell peppers. Once everything is done blending, pour it into a pot and allow it to start boiling. And then repeat the process blend the remaining bell peppers the onions the garlic the ginger the pepper everything just blend everything and then pour it into the same pot
while that is boiling open up the tomato paste and then transfer it into a big bowl if you want your patty jollof rice to have that authentic pinkish reddish color you need lots of tomato paste hence i'm using one big tomato paste and two very small tomato purees At this point, I noticed the bowl was going to be too small by the time I added water, so I transferred it into another bowl. Add water to the tomato paste and then bring it to the same consistency as the tomatoes you have in the pot. So now pour the tomato paste into the red bell pepper mixture. The water in the red bell pepper would have at least been halfway dry, not completely dry, halfway through. Then just pour the tomato paste mixture in it. Mix everything together and then allow it to boil together for about 10 minutes. Your pot should be covered otherwise you're going to have tomatoes splashing everywhere and you don't want that. So after about 10 minutes, it's been boiling for about 10 minutes now. Now you can now add all your condiments. So here I'm going to be adding curry powder. I'm going to add um, nutmeg, some smoked paprika, thyme, white pepper, some bay leaves, some adobo seasoning and my seasoning cubes. Add in your chopped onions. Then add your vegetable oil and then stir everything together. At this point, reduce your gas or whatever you're cooking with to the lowest point and then continue to stir consistently so it does not burn. Cover the pot and continue frying. After a short while, open up again and continue stirring. You continue like this until the stew is completely dry. At this point, you can see that the oil is still muddy. It's not ready at this point. When the stew is ready, it's going to be completely separated from the tomatoes. You can see it clear. And then you can just turn the oil away and then use it for other purposes. You can use it to make stew. You can use it to make jollof rice. It's not a waste. So at this point, you can see that the oil is completely separated from the stew. Now it is ready. Just turn the oil out like I said earlier and use it to cook other Nigerian dishes. It's not a waste. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you guys in my next video. Bye.